I was in the shower listening to the news and I was thinking like, this is not supposed to happen in America. What CCL. this is supposed, where this is supposed to happen is like developing, na developing nations. Like I can see this sh happening in Turkey. You know what I mean? Or I can see this happening in like all these other places. But like when I was growing up, this was not the expectation. Channel. Like this was not something that happened. But also at the same time, you know, I talk about our crumbling infrastructure, but this is probably not even just a crumbling infrastructure thing. This actually feels like uh, uh, more of a regular, very little regulation for developers type feet. You know what I mean? What we know about the Miami building collapse in Florida. Ran about our lives and with nothing but just white thick cloud of dust and it was it was brutal it just felt like an earthquake in the quiet hours of the oh, night so the unthinkable happened this 136 unit building near miami beach came crashing down security video from a nearby condo capturing it all this whole building right here is gone the whole back side of it everything to the beach it collapsed Many inside running down to the street. You okay, man? Yeah. Gabe Near feels lucky to be alive. He just moved into one of the condos at the oceanfront Champlain Tower South 11 months ago. I didn't think it was real. I thought it was a dream. There was a lot of raw, rumbling noises going on in the first clop, and the second clop was even more tense. I pray that everything, everybody would make it out safe if there are. First responders rush to the scene, searching. Oh, chatter! It's worse in third world countries. Never mind. Then we should not do anything about this. Then, like the expectation is this: that this sort of thing does not happen in America, which is like literally the wealthiest nation on the planet that is the whole point what good is it to have all of this wealth if you can't even build buildings that don't collapse this is a part of the problem with how much miami grew and uh how little regulation occurred around that growth here is the building before the collapse and then after a scene more reminiscent of syria than south florida the scope of devastation fully revealed once the sun came up this just doesn't happen you don't see buildings falling down in america here we had a building literally fall down the desperate search continues for those who did not make it out this video shows the miami-dade fire rescue searching in the parking garage under the pancaked building another body was recovered from the wreckage tonight the problem with this also is that like these people are putting their lives at risk. It's very unsafe for all the people to go in right now as well, because like the building could very easily collapse on top of them. There were so many problems with the building, major structural damage to the concrete slab below the pool deck, abundant crackling and crumbling of columns, beams and walls of the garage walls. Residents also complain about cracks in walls and water leaks. This is definitely caused by negligence and is absolutely terrible. I hope more people are found safe. Yeah. So far, three people dead and with at least 99 still missing months, families and friends are frantically looking for loved ones here's the issue okay there needs to be some form of regulation pushed by local officials to ensure which by the way developers hate this shit they will consider everything i'm about to say to be the nanny state and awful and bureaucracy you know it'll rise it'll increase costs for the consumer, the, the people that live in these apartments or the people that buy these apartments, like it'll be so terrible for homeowners and they will lobby and advocate against everything that I'm mentioning right now. But what has to happen is like inspections that are routine that then uh, have to happen quite frequently if an issue is identified. And an issue was identified here, from what I understand. There, there already were like a litany of different problems. Both the people that were living in the apartments had pointed to them. And also on top of that, uh, inspectors had found it. Just let Florida be Florida, bro. Stop coming in and changing shit. This is what you sign up for living in Florida? Yeah, no, totally. Come on, bro. Dude, I, you don't understand. Like, we, we, we don't mind it, dude. We'll just die. Who cares? But, like, at least it's, like, you know, cheap housing, right? The Champlain Towers South were built in 1981 in Surfside, just six miles north of Miami. 12 stories with 136 units. It housed a mix of year-round residents, snowbirds, and part-time renters. For decades, it stood against hurricane force fly. winds. The catastrophe happening shortly after 1 a.m. The Post Guard seaside town becoming choked in dust and smoke. The residential tower suffered a partial pancake collapse while many of the residents inside were sleeping. In mere seconds, 
55 units reduced to rubble. Survivors saying it sounded like thunder. First responders started arriving on the scene shortly after receiving the call at 1.38 a.m. More than 80 fire trucks dispatched, making their way into the chaos. I have never seen so many. Literally just coke houses, like houses built with uh, houses built to hide coke assets Asset. with uh, shoddy developers uh, who just wanted to make as much money as quickly as possible and hide as much money as quickly as possible. The lawsuits from this are probably going to be insane. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> that person who is from Florida who is joking about how just like let us be. This is how Florida is. You know, don't come in and mess shit up. It's unironically what uh, what uh, I feel like the, the Florida legislature or the Florida like a court system is going to say there was a famous bridge collapse in florida at fiu and uh only recently did the federal authorities uh, release the investigation that they conducted into it february 2nd 2021 was when the the federal authorities uh released their final investigation killed six people uh it was uh blamed well, uh, on design errors but yeah this this ride. happened happened before uh it happened back in i think like 2018 or something there you go. That's America, baby. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You is is the land of the free, Five, home of the new bridges hero. that collapse. I mean, Thank an you. apartment building from the 80s is not supposed to collapse this collapse this way either, by the way. Like that is an apartment built in the 80s. Like that's not supposed to collapse. Are you kidding me? That's not how that works. Oh, there was a DC bridge collapse that occurred uh apparently. There was a pedestrian bridge that uh, collapsed onto DC highway. This is like this is this reminds me of living in Ankara. Like I'm not even kidding. This is like some Melik Yokchik shit, okay? When I see stuff like this i'm like what am i in turkey what the fuck we got blackouts we got rolling blackouts incredibly turkey to just experience rolling blackouts like i had never seen this stuff living in america and i never thought that this was like something that was going to happen in america and we got like bridges that are falling apart and stuff it's crazy non-american chatters will know that this is uh stuff like this months. happens all the time in other countries but like part of america's appeal is that it never happens in america it's not supposed to happen in america which is shocking to see first time that buildings have collapsed in the nation in 2015, an apartment building in New York City toppled due to a gas explosion, leaving two dead and 19 injured. The most fatal building collapse occurred in Missouri in 1981, when a Hyatt Regency collapsed due to a structural failure, leaving 114 dead and more than 200 injured. But the big question remains, what caused this residential tower to fall? It's going to take some no time signs to figure of a sinkhole, out. no signs yet of a gas explosion. It's going to be a long and exhaustive search for the cause of the catastrophe. The but it clearly does happen in America, just like the rest of the world. It very rarely happens in America and never to this degree or didn't used to happen in America. And it's going to keep happening more and more frequently. You want to know why? Because our infrastructure is crumbling. OK, there is not enough funds to fix it. The, these things are not built for for forever use. You have to consistently fix it. For the record, it's Florida. How did this happen? It doesn't have to be a sinkhole, which does occur. I feel like a lot more frequently in Florida than anywhere else for some reason. I don't know. It feels like God is unironically punishing Florida, but it, it doesn't have to be a sinkhole. A lot of this is built on swampland which is not great to begin with. Get excited for this exact same thing to happen in Texas as well, where what's the what's the proper term for it? Same as New Orleans and same as Houston, where it's low elevation and areas that are built directly on top of waterways. Houston isn't swamp, but it's built on top of, it floods all the time. It's built on top of floodplains. So Bump it doesn't buff. matter if it's not directly swampland. I mean, you can build on a swamp. There's just ways that you're supposed to do it and you have to be extra careful. I mean, look at look at Netherlands, dude. Look at European countries that make do with the limited land that they have. Obviously, people have figured out different ways of of building on top of water florida sits on porous limestone not bedrock like many places it is caves throughout people overstrain fresh water and salt water intrusion cause erosion the sand that makes up the state is also prone to settling my parents house foundation has been settling and cracking for years one of surfside's commissioners saying the towers had been scrutinized in recent years it was up for its 40-year recertification and that construction of a nearby building had led to some issues with the champlain towers garage
To my understanding, there were some, some cracks from that project, minor cracks, but they were, they were just patched up. Nothing, based on my understanding, to the magnitude that would indicate that there's a structural problem that could result in something so catastrophic. According to the AP tonight... I'm sorry, boys. Here's the reality, okay? The nanny state needs to punish you and punish you severely. Otherwise, you're not going to get motivated to take action. No one, and I mean no one, cares about the safety of... Like, developers don't care about the safety of the individuals living in their apartment complexes, especially beyond uh, how it impacts their bottom line. Not a single person under a capitalist organization of the economy is going to be motivated by, uh, by uh, caring about human beings, following building code, or anything like that. If there is no punishments for refusing to focus on a uh, 2018 report and, and listening to the people that are living in the building, if there's not going to be any punishments by the government, or rather the punishments are going to be letting your LLC uh, declare bankruptcy and every wealthy person that was like uh, in the LLC absolutely getting away scot-free pretty much to move on to other projects, then why would they? Like, why would they... Care. I guess it was a condo, so it's like these are people who own those homes too. Like, imagine paying homeowner associations fees, and then your apartment just sinks into the ground, and now you're dead. Like, why did you do that? Then sounds a lot like Greenfell. No, Greenfell was uh, low income housing. Honestly, this so it was never shoddy architecture on purpose Sorry. because they were trying to cut corners. And even in Greenfell, I remember plenty of people. Uh, uh, it talked about the warning signs, talked about how fire safety was uh, not up to par, not up to code. Grenfell. Yeah, not Greenfell. Sorry, Grenfell. Whatever. This reminds me of the time Joe Rogan had to tell Dave Rubin about the need for regulations when it comes to construction because of the corners that get cut. Oh, yeah, absolutely. An inspector had been on scene as recently as yesterday for that recertification process. Investigators will likely look at other clues. A 2020 study out of Florida International University, which found that land in the Champlain Towers area had been sinking at an alarming rate during the 1990s. I was like shocked because we saw that the building moved 20, 30 years ago, which means that whatever caused the, the collapse didn't start this year. It started many years ago. Meanwhile, the search for the missing continues. First responders pivoting from inside the building to underneath the rubble. Rescue teams are hoping for pockets inside. The problem is if you remove certain things, if you remove weight, it could reshift and then end up murdering someone who is otherwise alive in the rubble. It is a really tricky and very dangerous process, both dangerous for the firefighters, dangerous for the engineers, because the structural integrity is gone. So what you're looking for is little pockets of areas where people could potentially still survive because like, I guess maybe like a large uh, plank or something was able to stop the collapse, right? So if they pull certain parts of the rubble, you could absolutely shut those little pockets up as, as everything settles, not murder, but like accidentally kill someone that is otherwise alive. Like a column or a beam is what you're looking for. It's, it's really interesting. I mean, I, I remember looking into this stuff in the aftermath of the uh, massive earthquake that uh, happened in Turkey. I, or like, years later just to see how people uh, do this sort of stuff in like collapsed buildings it's a really really interesting way to uh to try to uh, save people they i think they use like do they use sonar they use like some sort of radar technology to see if there's anything that they can uh find in the rubble that's like out of the ordinary sonar heat sensors 1980s in miami was a wild west barely regulation so much corruption and drugs haven't hasn't changed much honestly yeah no that's it has not I mean, people find people find people in these sorts of uh, rubbles uh, up to a week. So, you know, that's not there. There are probably a lot of people who are still alive in that rubble. Very likely. Hopefully uh, they will be able to get to them. Every time we start uh, breaching parts of the, the structure, we do get debris that falls on us. Their moves precise and methodical to prevent further tragedy. They assess the structure every hour. They conduct the assessments every time there's a weather shift. We place seismic uh, devices on the building. 